here I am, quarter to one, plenty of time. I'm sorry, mate. The phone has not stopped ringing. I'm absolute chock a block. Uh, are you kidding me? I'm not. No, I'm rammed. I'm, I'm really sorry, Paul. You're right. What are you doing with that thing? Oh, ask your mother. Well, can you cut my hair or? Well, have you got an appointment? What well, he has now. The amount of time you've had off, least you can do is pitch in. Now you're here. Excuse me, David. I've been serving the community. As have I. I've been doing the work of two of us in this place. Right, go on then, Max. Jump on that chair. Oh, and do a proper job and all. He's got a hot date later. Oh, I'll leave it out. Oh, is this true? I'm taking someone for dinner, yes. Oh, right then. Better give you the five-star service. Just get me gear. Well, what you're looking for is a pair of hinged blades with two little loopholes where you thumb and your fingers go like these. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, David. Not. Give up your day job. Why not? You have. You're about to be shot. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, um, nervous about tonight. Oh, don't be. Just be yourself. You know, girls love it when a man is confident in his own skin. Yeah, she's just, you know, full on, knows what she wants. Mm -hmm. See, you know, that's what I like about girls today. They're not shrinking violets, are they? You know, Max, you should never be afraid of a strong woman. You should embrace it. Yeah, right. 